She's known for hitting all the right notes on the world's most romantic songs. And tonight, Celine Dion pulls the curtain back on the emotional final moments with her husband, who was her guiding light until the very end. ABC's Deborah Roberts with that one-on-one -on -one conversation. Last time I took that step with you, we were three. I know. How are you? I'm very well. How are you? Okay. Okay. It was last spring when Celine Dion and I stepped on this stage along with her beloved Renee. Then the superstar singer was focused on her husband, who was in the wretched throes of his cancer battle. He's got a feeding tube. I have to feed him three times a day. And, and, and you did all, you did so much of this yourself. I do this myself. Together, they were preparing for the end, which came just four months ago, two days shy of Renee's 74th birthday. When I saw you last time, you were bracing yourself. You were beginning to talk about the end. Did it still come as a shock? Because even when you're expecting it, you kind of I never expected it. I think I was more in it. shock when I did talk to you uh, the last time because I saw him suffer. And that is the worst. Today, for me, it's like I don't live with him physically, but I live with him inside of me. Her husband of 21 years slipped away quietly in the early morning hours of January 14th. I went there, and I stayed by his side, and then I started to talk to him. I started to talk to him, and I said, you know what, I want you to just let go in peace. I want you to not worry. You were worrying for my career. You were worrying for the children. You were worrying for everything. I promise you, we're going to be OK. It was the moment they both knew was coming. He wanted to die in my arms. Did he? Um, I cannot live with a regret. But this is something that I do have a tendency to think that I have a regret and I should not. He did not die in my arms. But I think he died in my heart. If I hold on to this, I won't move on. There's a reason for things. I have to give myself a reason to go on. Go on without the love of her life. He'd been by her side for more than 30 years, as manager, then husband, the inspiration behind those unforgettable classics. Songs now taking on a whole new meaning. Thousands attended the funeral in Montreal, a public affair live streamed and meticulously planned by Rene himself. You left me now with enough good memories of you to share with my younger brothers. The couple's son, 15 year old Rene Charles, offering a goodbye. As they grow older, without you being around, I'll make sure to pass on what I've learned from you. His mother's grieving only beginning. You've had a lot of loss, not only your husband, but your brother two Couple days later. Days, yes. You ever find yourself saying, how much can I take? My brother, who passed away of this pretty much the same cancer as him, died on Renee's birthday. And I said to myself, for his birthday, my husband came and got my brother because my brother was too weak to fly on his own. One last parting gift. For Renee's birthday, he said, I'm going to come and get your brother, and I'm going to take good care of him. What do you miss most at this moment? What's the hardest part going forward without Renee? So what's hard, I have to say, that when I have to take decisions now. Do you, do you ever we, say, what would we, Renee do? I think we all do. Do you think Renee would think that this is too décolleté? Do you think Renee would think that this song is appropriate? But after a while, Am I going to have signs all the time? Or do I have to make decisions as a woman, as a mother, as an artist? Are you ready for that? Do I have a choice? 
you're never ready for something like this to happen. Even though you expect it, when it hits you, you're not prepared. It's hard. Her first difficult decision, how to break the news to her three boys, including five-year-old twins, Nelson and Eddie. And I said, do you remember the movie Up? Oh, they said, yes, with Eli who went up, you know, she, with the balloons. And I said, well, yeah. I said, you know, today, Papa went up. So long, boys. I'll send you a postcard from Paradise Four. The only thing I want you to remember is up. Up is a good thing. Don't worry. The house is not going to go with balloons in the sky because we still live in it. But Papa went with balloons. Papa went up. Only weeks later, the shattered singer back on stage, honoring a dying wish. Did you ever consider not coming back to the stage? Was that even a possibility for you? Maybe taking time? No, I never did. He wanted me to come back. Even while he was sick, he said, I don't mind if you want to do your living will with me by taking a year off. But I, he said, I want you to come back. I was his favorite singer. He believed in me so much. And so did her fans. On the night of Celine's return, a heartbreaking moment as she sang all by myself. The words more poignant than ever. It's not to come back on stage that was difficult. It's when the curtains was open and I could feel the energy, the sadness. And it's what I felt from then that made me tear, but it's what helped me too. I had to grieve, I, I had to do it. Today, that same theater hosts two record-breaking shows now a treasure trove of memories. I knew you used to do some kind of signal to each other. Yeah, and I still do it every night. And in the center of the Another room, nice Renee's like old him. seat. And he would be over here watching the whole show. Is there any one song now that when you sing it, it's all about you and Renee? When I sing, the show must go on mm -hmm. because when he was sick, he always said, show must go on. The show must go on. He gave me a lot of strength. He did. He did, and you know what? I'm at peace. Somehow, a peace that allows Celine Dion to go on. I'm happy he's not suffering anymore. It, it's a long road, but like I said, there's a lot ahead of me, but if I think too far ahead of me, I might be scared. I might ask myself too much questions. I just want, I just want to be here now. The show must go on. For Nightline, I'm Deborah Roberts in Las Vegas, Nevada. Celine Dion will perform and pick up the Icon Award at the 2016 Billboard Music Awards this Sunday, right here on ABC.